What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a hoot and a holler. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you do, and also don't forget to check out the new merch at goblin420.com. Man, you don't want to forget it. Don't miss out on the merch. Check it out right now. And also, real quick, before we dive into the video, let's take a brief moment for our sponsor. This video is brought to you guys by my friends at Adam and Eve. By going to adamandeve.com and using code GOBLIN at checkout, you can get 50% off one item and free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. Get your girl something nice. Get your guy something nice. Get whoever you want something nice. Adam and Eve is your one-stop shop, and they donate 20% of all profits to fighting HIV around the world. It's a great website, and it's the place you want to be to get all your goodies for your special times. Hit up Adam and Eve. Use code GOBLIN. Don't forget it. 50% off, baby. Big shout out to them. Let's dive into the video. So this happened pretty recently, actually, and this was a night that is a little different than the rest of my videos because I actually vlogged this, like, not all of the whole night, but somewhat on my second channel and posted it. I showed you guys that camera in my last face cam video, and I finally put it to use. So this story actually has some, like, footage to go with it, which I find pretty fun. But either way... This went down on Thanksgiving night, boys, and I'm going to fill you in on the whole thing. For everyone who watched the vlog, this will fill in every single segment that I didn't film, that didn't get recorded, whatever the hell happened, because I only recorded very briefly. But, let's dive right into it. So as I said, this happened on Thursday night, and before we went into the night, let me give a little backstory on what happened during the day. So, I went over to see my family for Thanksgiving. I was with my mom, and she invited my grandma over. A whole bunch of people, right? So, not a whole bunch. It was like six or seven people. But either way, it, it was a full table, right? So, my mom invites a bunch of people over. Me and my girl are there, right? Ashley's there. Uh, we got my cousin there. We got a few other people. And we're all kind of sitting around the table. And at this point... My mom, like, begged me. She was like, please don't smoke any weed today until you're done with dinner. And I was like, okay, bet. Sounds good. So I didn't smoke at all in the morning that day, but I definitely drank a little bit. Almost as soon as I woke up that day, my grandparents were already there. My grandma was already there. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? It's like noon. Like, why are you people already here? My grandma has a severe problem with me smoking or even drinking one glass of alcohol. You guys know me. I don't drink just one glass of alcohol. I drink quite a few. So I go downstairs, you know, I'm saying hi to my family and all that, and my mom's stocked up on an ungodly amount of, like, wine and shit for Thanksgiving. I, none of it was, like, crazy, like, bougie bottles. It was all, like, decent shit. Um, but it, it got me drunk, and that's all I cared about, right? There was some Miraval there. I liked that rosé. Uh, there was some other, like, white wines and stuff that she had. Uh, and they were all pretty decent. So I'm sitting there, and I'm drinking glasses of all types of different shit throughout the day. My mom had set, like, three bottles of wine on the table and just kind of said to everyone, like, you guys can pick, like, what you want to open. Obviously, I wanted to have a glass of each. So, you know, I'm, I'm up in the kitchen. I'm like, well, we're all going to drink this shit at some point today anyways. Like, every single person here can drink. So, we're good. So, I pour myself a glass of the rosé first. You know, I'm chilling. And throughout the day, throughout the evening, I get decently drunk. And the whole time, my grandma is just bitching at me, dude. She's she's just complaining about me drinking. She's like, oh, I'm like one glass in, my dude. She's like, oh, that's a big glass. Isn't that a knife? I'm like, yeah, this is my first glass. Like, what, like, this is not my last. This is insanity here, right? So... I'm sitting here, and I'm just trying to enjoy my alcohol, and the whole day I'm getting badgered by my grandmother. She's not having it. So eventually I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to have to drink in, like, stealth mode, you know? I made sure I was in the living room when she was still at the table after dinner, and I was sitting in there, and I had my final glass. I think I had, like, three or four glasses, so I, I got pretty buzzed. I wasn't, like, wasted, but I was, I was fairly drunk. And I drank my fourth glass, and I just slammed that shit in the living room, dude. I couldn't do it, right? So after I slammed that, I chilled for a little bit in the living room, talked to family some more, uh, quite a while actually, but I was drunk enough where it wasn't a big deal. It was only like maybe an hour and a half, two hours, and I'd really sobered up by then. Like By that point, I wasn't feeling that drunk, and I took a little bit of Advil because my head hurt a little bit. I was like, okay, I don't feel that great, but I'm not, I'm not really wasted either, you know? So I wanted to go smoke. Problem being, my fucking grandmother. Listen, 
God bless her heart, but like, yo, she's just, she thinks weed is going to melt my cranium. And like, that's just, there. I've done a lot of other things that are going to melt my cranium, Grandma. It's not going to be the weed, I promise that. But, she thinks it's going to be the weed. So I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm just trying to think in my head, I'm like, what the fuck kind of excuse am I supposed to make to get out of the house? I'm thinking about it and I'm like, yo, I'll just say that I'm going Black Friday shopping. It's fucking Thanksgiving night. All the stores are closed anyways. They open at like 5 a.m. the next day, but I don't care. I'm I'm going out. So I thought of that, and everyone's sitting in the living room, and I, I kind of mentioned this to my mom as she's sitting near me. I'm like, hey, you know, like I'm probably going to go Black Friday shopping. Is that cool? And she's like, yeah, go for it. You can go whenever. Because we'd already been done with dinner and all that shit at that point. So it didn't really matter. Like, I, I could go at that point. So... Ashley and I, we go and we hop in the U-Haul, which at this point we were still whipping. And we drive over to Kyle's house. Kyle is a very familiar character to those of you guys who have watched my videos for a while. He's even been in a couple of my live streams, actually. But I drove over to Kyle's house because I gave him a call and I was like, dude, listen, what if we go Black Friday shopping tonight? Think about it. He thinks about it and he's like, yeah, I'm fucking down. Like, come over. We can do online shopping, too. So I'm like, bet. Say less. We're sliding. So I go over to his house, and mind you, it's fairly late at night at this point. It's, you know, by, by the time we'd eaten and everything, I, I feel like I might have made it sound like it was a short amount of time that went past here with my family. It was not. It, by the time I left my house, it was like 8.30 at night, I think, 8 o'clock, 8.30, and my family got there at like fucking 1 p.m. noon time, right? So this this was quite the ordeal, but I'd left a good while later. So. I go over to Kyle's house, you know, it's already nighttime out, and I get there, and we, we decide that we're going to smoke a little bit. We go into his garage, and, you know, we, we opt, we got to take a dab, you know? Now, the problem here is that Kyle, he's kind of known for, like, not cleaning his bangers, really, and the last time I went to his house before this, I had to clean the banger for him. It was, like, the day before, actually, because I'd gotten there. But it was just me. My girlfriend wasn't at my house yet. It was just me. So I fucking, I, I went over to his house and his banger was like pitch black. And I was like, dude, what have you done? Like the bottom of it was encrusted. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, Are you dab out of this? And I, he was like, yeah. And I was like, dude, I bet every dab tastes the same. And he, he went, you know what? I noticed that. And I, I just had to clean the guy's banger for him. It, it was fucking pitch black. Like, it was so encrusted in burnt wax, it was unbelievable. So, I went over the next day, and it was, it was a little better, but it was still like, this guy didn't clean it. Personally, I think you should Q-tip after every dab, but this guy doesn't give a damn sometimes. I mean, he's kind of wild with it. So, it, I mean, it was clean enough for me to dab at this point. So I cleaned it the day before. So we took a little dab, and immediately I hit up my boy Sean. Now, Sean was in the vlog, if you guys watched that on my second channel. If you haven't, go go look up Goblin420 on YouTube, and you'll find my channel. Uh, that's my second, or it's linked on my channel. If you click on my Goblin channel, it's actually linked um, right, like, right below the featured video. But either way, I hit up Sean, and Sean... He says he wants to hang out. He's like, yo, dude, I haven't seen you in a long time. Now, Sean is a funny guy. Sean is a good friend of mine. I've known this dude for a long time. Very good friend of mine. But Sean is hilarious to hang out with. A, because he gets stoned out of his fucking mind. Like, you can't, you don't want him to drive the car when he's stoned. He's, he, when he's high, he's not a fantastic driver. When he's sober, he's fine. But when he's high, he's, like, not the greatest driver, right? So you don't really want <laughs> You don't want to ride in his whip. So I opted that we come pick him up in our U-Haul. He's like, oh, bet, dude, I'm down. And Kyle's sitting there, and he's like, wait, I have to ride in the back of the U-Haul? And I'm like, yeah, man, kind of. Like, there's only two seats in this thing, bro. It's a Ford Transit. So he's sitting there, and at first he doesn't want to go. I have to do a little persuading here because, I mean, come on. We haven't hung out in a while. I haven't been up there. I, I want to fuck. I'm stoned. Like, come on, dude. It would be funny. We can all go in the back of the U-Haul and smoke. So we all go out to the car. After a little bit of convincing, Kyle hops in back and we fucking whip over to Sean's house. We drive over there and Sean, we beat Sean home. I don't know where he was. I, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know where the fuck he was, but we beat him to his house and he pulled up like a few minutes after we did. 
slides into the spot. This dude was going like fucking 40 through the parking lot. It, it was actually kind of concerning. But he slides into the spot, and he hops in the back of the car. Now, Sean is comedy. This guy is just so fun. Like I said, to get stoned with. I love smoking weed with this guy, right? So he hops in the back, and off the bat, he's just, it's just funny. It's just a good time, boys. We're having a hoot. We're having a holler. So we decide that we got to roll up a blunt, but we don't really have anywhere to go. Sean keeps going like, let's go to, let's go to my crib. And, and Kyle's like, no, dude, let's go to my crib. And I'm like, boys, we're smoking in the fucking U-Haul. And then Sean was really down for it. Kyle was like somewhat down, but I feel like everyone persevered and we did it. We hotboxed it. I found a good spot to park it and we hopped in the back, you know, my girlfriend and I, Ashley and I, and we're sitting back there and we opt for Sean to roll the first blunt because he insisted that he did it. Now, Sean said that he was at his peak blunt rolling ability at this point, which I believe was complete bluff because he couldn't we gave him two wraps i don't know if it was two or three it might have even been three but we gave him two wraps a minimum minimum two wraps and he fucked them both up i gave him some good weed to put in it i, I brought some dispensary stuff and he fucked the two wraps up so eventually i had kyle roll a blunt i was like kyle you know what just roll a fucking blunt do what you gotta do dude like come on and i'll roll a blunt too so I decided that I had to take the reins from Sean because Sean was butchering every blunt. He claimed peak blunt rolling ability, but I don't, I don't believe it at all. I don't believe it at all because if this guy was at peak blunt rolling ability, he wouldn't have... No, he, he fucked up three. He put weed in two of them and he snapped a third one in half. I, I forgot about that. I forgot. Oh my God. Ah! Sean fucked up three of them. It was three. Yo ho. Oh my, I totally forgot about that. Okay, I just had like a Jimmy Neutron brain blast thinking about that. But either way, so eventually he did like decimated enough raps and we were tired of it. So I, you know, Kyle and I, we took the reins. We each rolled up a pretty fat blunt. You know, we put some really nice stuff in there. I brought Bubba Kush. I brought ice cream cake. I brought lava cake. I brought a nice combo of strains. I brought some really good Indicas and we were chilling smoking these blunts. We got baked. Now, Sean brought a speaker from his car, this little portable speaker, and he started playing a bunch of music, right? Which, it was kind of good, but, you know, eventually he played this song that was just, I guess, too loud, and it, like, blew out his speaker. Uh, and then after that, I noticed the speaker didn't sound as good. I don't think he noticed, though. But I noticed the speaker did not sound as good after he blared some, like, real ear fuckery song, like some real fucked shit. So, either way... We're smoking these blunts, and we get ripped. Sean, in particular, is baked out of his mind. And as you guys saw in the vlog, if you watched it, this guy was ripped. So we're chilling, and we're having a fucking blast. We're having a hoot and a holler. We're stoned out of our minds, and we want to smoke some more. But we opted to leave the U-Haul turned off because we decided that it wouldn't be safe if we all jumped in the back and then left the keys in the front. What if some guy just hops in and kidnaps us? Like, what the fuck do you do? Like, what if we get locked? Like, what? There's so many what ifs, you know? So we were like, fuck it. We're going to take the keys out, which was a terrible decision because it's the end of November in Illinois. Those of you who live up here, you might know that it's fucking cold at night and being in a U-Haul isn't going to save you when it's turned off with no heat. So we're sitting there and I shit you not, all I had on was a hoodie and my sweatpants. So I'm, I'm shivering. I'm like... I'm so frigid that I could barely feel my fingers after a little while. And I, we wanted to smoke more, but we couldn't in these conditions. I had to hop in front and turn the car on. So Ashley and I, we go hop back in the front. I turn the U-Haul back on, and we whipped the fuck out of there. We, we dipped. We were like, okay, we're going to keep the heat on and, and figure out what to do. So we opt to go back to Kyle's house. And at this point, we'd killed lo quite a lot of time, but we still had a long time to go until any stores open for Black Friday. So we go over to Kyle's house, and we're chilling there, and we're shopping online a little bit. Pretty much every website started their Black Friday sales slash Cyber Monday sales on Black Friday way earlier, you know? So you can go in there and get some crazy deals on, like, Thanksgiving night. So we're looking on Macy's because I needed a new winter jacket really bad, and I also wanted a new bed set. I wanted, like, a new new comforter, all that. You know, so I was, I wanted something thicker for the winter. I had a really thin one for summer and I'm still using it. I, I still need a better one, actually. It's fucked. But either way, I wanted to get a bed set 
and a code. And we were both shopping online and Kyle got to place an order. But when I went to place an order, it got stuck. Like the cart glitched out. And I was like, no, I was so blown because I found a good deal. Sean, on the other hand, is looking on the Best Buy site, I think, trying to find the earbuds he wanted. Which, by the way, ended up only being $20 off. Best Buy is finessing. But we'll get to that later. So we opt to go smoke a little more. You know, obviously, we, we got to get higher. I mean, we decimated every blunt in the U-Haul. Our fingers are frozen. And we want to smoke a little more. But mind you, everyone's very tired. Everyone's starting to fall asleep. Everyone's starting to pass the fuck out. And I also was up since fairly early in the day. You know, not super early, but I don't know. I mean, early for me. I, well, I guess fucking noon isn't early. Uh, new, Yeah, early. Okay, early for me. Pardon me. But either way, I'm, I fucking, I'm tired already, but we got to stay up, you know? So we stay up and we smoke some more weed and we're chilling until about 3 a.m., which is two hours until the stores start to open. I'm chilling there, and Kyle and I are the only ones still awake. Ashley's asleep next to me on the couch, and Sean is asleep at the other end of the couch. They're both absolutely out cold. Like, Ashley is is completely slumped. In fact, Kyle just texted me right now. He rated his Apple Watch a 9 out of 10. He bought an Apple Watch at Best Buy. We were going to get to that. He just rated it, and good for him. I'm glad he he likes it. I'm glad he made a good Black Friday purchase, because I fucking didn't. So either way, we're two hours away at this point. We start looking up all the stores and planning out our route. We're going to go to Best Buy first, then we're going to go over to Macy's and try to get the shit I wanted in person, and then we're going to go over to Target. The reason I wanted Best Buy is because I wanted to get an Xbox Series X, but I'm not willing to pay resale for it. I'm only willing to pay retail. So we get to Best Buy, you know, uh, some time passes, and Kyle and I, we get a little more stoned, and, well, not, okay, I shouldn't have said we get to Best Buy. We're on our way to Best Buy, and Ashley wants to get dropped off, right? So I go drop her off, you know, she, she's spending the time with me at my mom's house. We're both spending the time at my mom's house. So I drop her off at my mom's house and she sleep. she goes and knocks out my room. It's like 5 a.m. at this point. I had to like help her inside. She was out. But either way, after that, it's me, Kyle, and Sean, and we dip over to Best Buy. We go over to Best Buy and we're one of the first people who hopped out of our cars. We were like probably only 10 people back in line, which was nice because It was like 4.40 already, you know, 20 minutes before 5. So we get there, and we're lined up pretty early, and I'm getting excited. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm going to get a Series X. Like, there's no way they only have, like, 5 or 10 of them. I'm going to get one, dude. Like, everyone's going to go for the PS5, you know? So I'm getting hype, you know, I'm I'm getting excited, and the door's open at 5, and we're, we're freezing. But the door's open, and I'm hype. I get in there, and, you know, I walk back to the electronic section, kind of speed walk, you know, pep in my step. There's another guy walking with me, and I can tell we're after the same thing. But as we get back there, there's nothing. Nothing in the displays, nothing behind glass, nothing out, you know, nothing at all indicating they have an Xbox or a PlayStation. In fact, I don't even know if they had a fucking Switch. We went in there, and they had nothing. So I'm like, yo, what the, like, this is fucked. So... I was pretty blown at this point. I was like, damn, dude, like, this is, this is crazy, you know, like, this is insane. They, they don't even have one. Like, I was one of the first two people back there. Like, I, there's, I, they didn't even have one. That's so crazy. But at the same time, I was like, okay, we'll go to Target. Maybe they'll have one. So I'll go find something else that's maybe a good deal. I'm looking around and all the TVs are like a hundred bucks off, 200 bucks off. I'm like, man, they cost so much to begin with. 200 bucks off ain't nothing compared to the price tag. Fucking one of the TVs, like $1,300. I don't really give a shit if it's $200 off, dude. That's insane. You know? So I'm looking around a little bit and eventually I bump back into Sean and Sean bought this pair of earbuds that was damn near $200. They weren't Apple. They weren't AirPods. They also weren't, like, Beats or really anything I'd seen before. I don't think I'd seen them before. But he liked them. He said they were really good, and he wanted them for a while. So I was like, yeah, dude, buy them if you want them. Problem is, the ones that he grabbed weren't actually on sale. So I walked back over to the earbud section with him, and we looked a little bit, and we found a pair that he liked more. So I was like, yeah, dude, grab those. They're, like, $30 off at least. Maybe you'll like them. So he's like, yeah. 
decent call, I guess. So he grabs those, and we go look around for Kyle a little bit. I don't know where the hell Kyle went, but he ended up in the Apple section at some point and bought an Apple Watch for himself, which I guess was a, a pretty good deal, a pretty good discount he got. So he got the best deal out of all of us here. I just bought a new webcam for my streams, but it was only $10 off. Thanks, Best Buy. So after that, Sean is in the back of our U-Haul. We dip out of there pretty quickly, pretty disappointed with the sales. And we hop in the back of the U-Haul, and we're trying to smoke some more, but we realize that we forgot our fucking blunts. We don't have time to go grab these, so we're like, oh shit, dude, like, what are we gonna do? Let's just go to Macy's. As we're on our way to Macy's, Sean mentions that... <laughs> Alright, let me give a little backstory. Listen, Sean is a great friend of mine, and I love him, but he has a bad habit of, like, not paying you back after asking to borrow money. Uh, I, I have no problem, like, smoking him out or getting him fucked up on whatever he wants, but, like, with money, I feel like it's a little different. And he has a bad habit of doing that. So I kind of learned, like, okay, I can't really lend this guy money, you know? And he met, he tells this crazy story. I think, low-key, he just wanted to, like, buy some weed or something, but whatever. He tells this crazy story to Kyle and I about how he was in need of some money because his account apparently overdrafted from buying the earbuds and his mom woke up and like at 5 a.m. woke up out of her sleep and saw that his account was overdrafted and was angry. And I'm like, what? Like, what? And he's like, should I just return them? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, that sounds like a Good idea, I guess. Um, probably. And Kyle's like, yeah, you should probably just return them. And, and Sean's sitting there, and he's like, dude. And he starts, he starts, he, at first he asked for $60. Then he asked for $80. Then he asked for 100 The amount changed like three times in a minute and a half. So when that happened, I was like, okay, no. If it stayed with it like 60 bucks, yeah, I, probably, I mean, I probably would have given him like 60 bucks. But, I mean, he changed it three times, bro. I'm like, I'm like, dude, if you want to ask for weed or something, just ask, bro. Like, come on, man. So I told him, I was like, no, dude. Like, I, you know, Kyle and I, we both told him, we were like, no, dude, we can't do it. Because he asked both of us. He's like, can you guys, like, put me a little money? And we were like, dude, like, we fucking, like, you, you just... You have a bad habit of doing this, Sean. You got to break this habit. Like, we can't support it. We'd be enablers, you know what I'm saying? And apparently, I guess he got to keep them. I don't know how he came up on some extra money, but he got to keep them. Because he was on Snapchat the next day fucking posting pictures of them, which were funny as hell. He posted, like, a selfie with them. <laughs> he was geek. He loved those things, bro. But <laughs> he loved, he's hype about those things. But I guess he, he got to keep them. He mentioned that uh, to, to Kyle and I that he got to keep them. But at this point, he was, like, overdrafted, so he wanted to go home, right? So we go drop him back off at his place, and now it's just Kyle and I. We go over to Macy's, and I end up buying a winter jacket, and it was really, really highly discounted. It was, like, $200 normally, down to, like, 60 But also, to be fair, Macy's has a bad habit of overmarking things for sales and then making the regular price look like a sale, you know? Like, Macy's will put the sticker price of an item at, like, $400 and then make it look like they always have a sale 24-7 uh, for, like, 60% off. And it's just absurd. But either way, beyond that, I, I feel I got a decent enough deal on this coat, right? I got my coat. I'm chilling. So we dip out of there, and now it's time for Target, our last hope. We go to Target, and we're fucking waiting, and it's freezing. We stand outside. We get in there. No consoles. I'm I'm upset at this point. I'm blown. I'm like, damn. I'm exhausted. I stayed up all night for this. I could have gone to sleep, dude. I could have slumped, bro. Like, come on. I could have gone home and taken a dab with Ashley and been out. Like, come on, dude. Fuck. We stayed up and all I got was a winter jacket and a webcam. I could have ordered on I could have ordered both online actually. <laughs> Shit, man. So we dip out of Target. We don't even look at anything else. We're like, the only reason we went in was just to look for that. They didn't have it, so we left immediately. And after that, we drove through McDonald's and got a little bit of breakfast and dipped. You know, I dropped Kyle off back at home, and I slumped immediately. I was exhausted. I got back home. I took a small dab, and I went back upstairs, and I knocked the fuck out. I was out cold, man. 
If you guys want to see the vlog corresponding with this, make sure to go to Goblin420, which is my second channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, gamers.